This video is going to tell you how you can improve the mathematical accuracy of your ChatGPT or Gemini with just a single line of text. For example, if you take this particular prompt, which says, can you tell me how many S are there in stabilities, which is intentionally written wrong. You can see there are two S and two S totally four, but LLM can't understand that because LLM looks at things in terms of token. And then suddenly it says there are three S in the word, this particular word. But what is the simplest way that you can improve the accuracy of this? If you don't want to bother the LLM to give you the right answer by itself, the simplest way you can add just a single line of text to your prompt. And this can magically turn into a right answer is to tell the LLM to use code. For this to work, whatever ChatGPT or Gemini or Mistral or whatever LLM that you are using, they should have an access to what we call as a Python ripple where it can execute a code. And the moment you say this, the LLM is not going to use its own knowledge to answer this question. Rather, it is going to use a tool and then get you the answer done. And the tool is going to execute the code that the LLM writes. So in simple language, LLM as an entity, instead of using its little bit memory that it has got, it is going to do something called tool usage. So tool usage basically triggers a particular external connection where for a given particular set of prompts, like for example, math, the LLM would know instead of using my inbuilt memory, I've got to go invoke a given tool. In this case, it's a Python ripple where you can write a Python code. So it's like a Python interpreter. So the LLM, instead of using its LLM knowledge to calculate what is that particular letter or particular number, how many counts, it is going to use a Python ripple or a calculator, whatever you want to do. In this case, it's going to be Python ripple. And then it is going to use that particular Python ripple tool to solve the problem that you have given. And this is exactly good for math problems or problems where you want the LLM to do some kind of counting, which is very difficult for you to do with the normal prompt because LLM just sees tokens. So if you were to chat with an LLM and you say, can you tell me how many SS are there in stabilities? What the LLM is going to see is something like this. It can't even see stabilities as a word together. Rather, it sees 301265302416838934364. This is what LLM sees. So it's very hard for the LLM to say this. So hence, writing a Python code, the LLM literally copies the entire word and then finally counts it for you and gives you the answer back. So this works extremely well for a lot of different prompts. If you were to do something with open source libraries models, then you can use something like a Python ripple with Langchain, which will give you that ability to run a Python code. There are tons of other ways for you to get this done, but I wanted to give this very simple prompting tip that can help you improve the accuracy of LLM. So whatever you want to do, you can just go to the LLM and then say, and if you think that a Python code can improve the accuracy of the result, then you can just ask LLM to solve this. For example, I can say Mary had three, four apples and she had two friends and two friends and one friend took three apples. How many apples? been left with Mary. So instead of just asking this, use code. If you just say this, it's going to write a Python code and then it is going to give you a final answer, which in this case, Mary had one apple. So this is one of the easiest ways to improve your mathematical accuracy. And this also can be implemented with open source tools. This video, I got inspired by watching Andre Karpati's latest video on LLMs. I thought I'll just make a small snippet of that, which will help anybody to improve LLM accuracy. See you in another video. Happy prompting.